Thank you everyone for staying with us. It's perhaps good news for the not too young to run movement as their aim of getting the age, age qualification for running some in public offices in Nigeria cut is looking alive right now because uh, they perhaps have gotten the more than the st number of states they need to get that bill passed in the state houses of assembly. So uh, we have the sponsor of that bill, Honorable Tony Nwulu in our Abuja studio, and Cynthia Mbamalu, who is a member of the Not Too Young to Run campaign. Thank you so much again for your time. If I may quickly come to you, Cynthia, uh, it does look like uh, what a lot of people have been talking about. It was a movement that, were, that took the, 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 the online media uh, platforms by storm. And look, for, right now as it stands, uh, 24 states needed. I think we, there is now 25, isn't it? So uh, for the movement, what exactly are your yearnings in the coming days as this bill has gotten to this stage? I think for us, one is to um, thank and congratulate the 27 states, actually, that have um, passed the bill. So we have Taraba today doing a U-turn, and they had initially voted no for the bill. But with a lot of um, advocacy and young people putting Taraba on the, on the wall of, of shame, we have um, seen Taraba do a U-turn and vote in support of the bill. So right now we have 27 states. We still have some states yet to pass the bill, but we have between to four states that we need to move um, to have the bill move to the national and back and down to the president. So I think what we hope as young people, as young Nigerians, is one that the lawmakers at the state level actually may, um, speedily pass this, um, move the bills or resend the bills back to the national level because you need the bills to be transmitted back to the national assembly before it is sent to the president for presidential assent. And for us, we don't think um, delay, delay def defeats justice and we want to see a process as Concluded because the elections 2019 is about 322, 362 days away from here, and we need we need the bill to be passed for the constitution to be amended so that young people who want to run for office can start putting and putting getting ready and um, working within the parties they want to run for and start even doing their calculations and mathematics and doing all the community organizing they need to do. So for us, what is important now is to have the state houses of assembly transmit these bills as passed down to the national assembly, and I. Think I think beyond just the not too young to run bill, the whole process of constitutional amendment, I think it has taken quite a long, um, a long time, and, I, and this is the time for us to conclude on that. We don't want um, the fate of the process of 2012 to repeat itself. We want a process that as it has started, we've seen lots of Nigerians and citizens engaging and supporting the process. We think now it behoves on the state assemblies to speedily conclude with the, with the amendment, transmit this bill to the National Assembly, and we believe the president would assent to the bill because um, once it gets National Assembly to be transmitted to the president for, for assent, and we want to believe that the president would, want, would support the not too young to run because we all are aware that in 2015, um, lots of young people were engaged in the campaign for the president and engaged in promoting and canvassing for, for votes for the president. So I think this is the time for the president to show young Nigerians that, yes, right. um, he did appreciate the support he got in 2015 and that he's willing to speak and represent okay. uh, and, act in, and act according to the will of Cynthia, the Nigerian youth. Yeah, Cynthia, if I may quickly show you this, we broke it down. What the bill is proposing, the AG is, what is present obtainable in the Nigerian constitution for anybody who wants to run into office. So what exactly does this mean? Uh, uh, if, if I may come to you, Honorable Ngulu now, is, the age, is age the factor in, our leadership, in the leadership question in Nigeria? Is this exactly the problem of this country? Uh, and uh, the reasons why you are concerned about the slash in the ages, is age really the issue? Yes, uh, so age is a very big issue. And why I say that is because, you, you see, for us to move this country forward, we need creative um, thinkers. We need uh, creative ideas and uh, minds that are pretty innovative. And uh, as you're aging, of course, your creativity gets uh, tuned down. That's, that's part, you know. So uh, uh, not, not to write off our old politicians, but truth remains that we need um, more dynamic young minds to come and um, 
I mean, to get infused in, in the polity. That's the way I look at it. The, when you bring in young minds, you're bringing in dynamism, you're, you're bringing in creativity. And, uh, you, you know, at, at the moment, I think we've been, we've been, um, we've been a consuming nation, not a, produ a, a producing nation. We, we've had so much of old people that believe that we will maintain the status quo the way it is. But you see, things are changing. Uh, uh, I mean, times are evolving. Uh, both technologically, and uh, it's time we, we begin to embrace what most other countries are doing. Most are talking about renewable energy and, I mean, more uh, modernized agriculture and all of that. But, uh, Sean, between I and you, the truth is that the, the old man or old men that we still have retained in power, it's not like they are bad, but they just have to go and rest. All right. Uh, let me, they Honorable Wulu, uh, uh, let me allow Cynthia mm. to come uh, into into the conversation. And I will show you this. Uh, we try on the program, try to compile the ages of some leaders, uh, 10 of them across the world, including Africa, from the United States to the UK, Canada, South Africa, uh, Ghana, China, G Singapore, France, and Germany. If you look at the ages of these leaders, the average age you see is between 63 and 64 years. Of uh, A lot of people will think, look, for the office of the president, the office of a governor, you need age. Even in the National Assembly, you need experience for people who had been successful in their own endeavors outside of public office before they can come and make that change. So if you look at this, uh, does it not g uh, tell you that, look, age may not be the issue, but experience, isn't it? Well, I, I think, um, one, I don't think age is synonymous with experience. And I think when it comes to leadership, we need to look at it from one, issues of competencies and capacities. Now, do we have young Nigerians that are capable, that have the competence to deliver on leadership? And perhaps if we break down governance, what is governance? It's basically meeting the needs of the people. Do we have young people that actually understand the needs of the people and can meet the needs of the people? Yes, we do. Now, yes, there may have been a trend of having the older generation be the, um, the faces you see in government. But I think the world is changing. So you see the wind of change blowing through. I think one, I would want to go as far back as 2014 when, um, when Julius Malema actually ran for president at the age of 30 in South Africa. And for, for, for a young man, he started the um, Economic Freedom Fighters Party, the EFF. And before we knew it, he became the second majority party. Why he may not have won, but he got himself, he, they got a seat in the, par in the parliament in, in South Africa. And over time, you've seen the consistency right. in the EFF, the money for economic freedom for young people. And now you have younger generation feeling more connected to the EFF that even the ANC, and you could see what the, le the leader, the, um, you could right. see that agitation in the parliament, even towards President Jacob Zuma. Now, you see, let's come down to France. We saw how um, 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 Emmanuel Macron led the end march. Now, it was a new party, but he had an idea, he had an ideology. And I believe young people in his, in his country connected to it, connected okay. with him. And if you go to Austria, so you we, see across we, we must, the world, we must go, that wind of change. We must go because we are that out of time. wind of change. Yeah, we must go because we're out of time. Many thanks, uh, Cynthia Mbamalu, Honorable Tony Unwulu, sponsor of the Not Too Young to Run bill. Cynthia is a member of the Not Too Young to Run campaign. Many thanks for your time and your thoughts. Uh, we do hope uh, that this will progress uh, uh, increasingly in the coming days. Thank you. Uh, that's our show for tonight, everyone. Many thanks for being part of it. I'm Shion Wakimbalu. Bye-bye.